Where should I begin when planning out my coursework in your school? It's better to start, first of all, with an understanding of what you want to gain and why you need this training. An intention should be formed first. This is the most important part. The methods that you will be learning following the plan, all of them will settle upon the platform of your intention. If there is no intention, then the learning will be tattered. We tell our students at the very first course, write down why you came here. Even if it's a silly intention, something that you would read a year later and say, oh, terrible, did I want this? Surely an intelligent, smart person like me could not have wanted this. Well, you did. You should always respect yourself for your intention that inspired you to start changing. Therefore, the first thing to start with is to ask yourself the question, why do I need this? In other words, set yourself a vector. It may be a short one, up to a certain milestone, but do set this vector for yourself. And then move according to the proposed plan. The plan is classical and proven, and it is many thousands years old. No one invented anything new, but simply took the old teachings and redesigned them to fit today's mentality and current lifestyle, and woven it into our current realities. It is an extremely proven system of development, it goes from simple to complex. So, step by step, you will learn, everyone at their own pace. Here, nobody lines up with anyone. We would never say that something should be one way only. We made sure to consider multiple factors, such as various learning paces, as well as different capabilities, including time, finances, and personal strength. Also, there is always an opportunity to ask your questions on an online forum. In any case, remember that the path of development of one's consciousness is always an individual path, and there are no repetitions of experiences among the seekers. It seems that we're all following the same study plan, but everyone arrives at the result their own way. The most important thing is to remember that the experience doesn't have to be similar to that of your colleague. Whatever result you may achieve, it will belong to you alone. There to confirm your own rights and your own existential volume. Therefore, set your own intention, set your own goal, and you will definitely achieve it. Then, set your next intention, and so from one vector onto another, from one result onto another. Intention first, then the movement, and not vice versa. Getting involved in a fight and then trying to see what happens is the wrong approach. The right approach is to know why you are doing it. Then you'll be able to study using the methodology of our school or that of any other school, and no school will be of disservice to you. This is absolutely certain.